Good morning. Welcome to another edition of Talking Shit on the Commentary. I'm in studio right now. I just got uh, in my chair. Uh, the Supreme Court is now reviewing uh, an argument in regards to the taxation and the tax credits, rather, that can go on during uh, anyone's Obamacare. Uh, they're arguing Obamacare. It could change everything. Uh, I don't believe that the Supreme Court will overturn the activation of Obamacare. I think we're, Obama is uh, safe here. I could be wrong, but I know that the Supreme Court usually rules against chaos, and I think that it would be very chaotic and horrible if they did overturn or cause deep uh, uh, changes uh, that have already been implemented in regards to Obamacare. I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, white privilege, white po power, and the threat of the neocon Zionist uh, mentality that a lot of people are afraid of. And so that's where this inward ignorance is coming from online. There's a lot of, uh, of blatant racist uh, comments being made about Obama. Uh, and and, and, and there it's escalating. And I was looking at why are we doing so many broadcasts? Well, you know, the general election is coming up, so we have a lot of things that we're going to have to respond to because of a lot of knee-jerk bullshit, uh, and, and Dick Cheney is on the prowl. Uh, I thought this motherfucker would have been in the rest home by now. Uh, after dealing with BB yesterday, I just felt sick, and uh, just his bullshit, and how he's been backed by John Boehner and these Republicans, and I want to say that... If we can afford to give Israel $3 billion a year, and some people are telling me it's way more than that, then we can afford Americans to be able to go to the doctor. If we can afford to avoid assisting the people of Ukraine in regards to Russia destroying uh, 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 their, their, their sovereignty, then, then, then can't we at least use the money we're not giving them for our own uh, poverty in regards to the people uh, who, who need Obamacare. Obamacare helps people who don't really have a lot, students, single people, uh, people that don't fall under the, uh, you know, doctrine of the Zionist uh, beliefs uh, sometimes. And I think that, uh, you know, part of the insanity of not uh, wanting to rally around Obamacare is based on people who really don't care. I mean, if we really needed the money to really help Obamacare function, why won't we take a fine-tooth comb through Wall Street and what's really going on? Wall Street is a thievery, sort of a maniacal system of a down. And it is a constant uh, uh, a clown show of bullshit and where the money really go. And I think that until we get serious about Wall Street, all the other neighborhoods, metaphorically, are not really being thoroughly uh, dealt with and complete. Wall Street, or it's not complete. Wall Street, or we really can't even meet. Wall Street, or it's just the same meet and greet bullshit. Uh, nobody wants to touch Wall Street because there's so much power and money involved in Wall Street. And Wall Street is where these guys are sitting around, man, with the government reps inside the banks and inside the, the firms, you know, just bullshitting and, and jacking each other off and ripping us off, man. Somebody be serious about Wall Street, not religiosity. Not tribalism, not racism, not this behavior toward women that is really, really deplorable in our own country. Not just where they cover their faces, but all over these places. There's this bickering and this sociological nitpicking bullshit that ain't got nothing to do with what really is legit. It's the thievery on Wall Street. It's Wall Street, Fox News. So find out, you know, really dig into the emails of the motherfuckers on Wall Street and what was really going on during the time in which this whole world was brought to some sort of financial ruin. We were caught in the colon of their bullshit. Uh, uh, and, and, and Obama has helped the stock market, so they've put back up the mirage again, right? And I still believe that they're doing the same
same thievery bullshit within. And so the Supreme Court is not going to look at Wall Street. BB is not going to look at Wall Street. Obama is not looking at Wall Street. Dick Cheney doesn't talk about Wall Street. Donald Trump isn't dealing with Wall Street. Ted Cruz don't give a fuck about Wall Street. Net Holder don't give a fuck about Wall Street. Nancy Pelosi don't give a shit about Wall Street. What about Wall Street? See, they won't say anything about Wall Street. Wall Street is where the truth and the bullshit really does meet. Wall Street. See, it's fucking Wall Street. It's where all the money's at. That's why they blew those planes. That's why they were sending those planes and shit over there. The fucking terrorists know. It's Wall Street, bro. Wall Street. We got to do something about that. Because they ain't doing shit about this. This world, this thing, this level where we exist, they don't give a fuck. It's a total sociological miss. It's Wall Street. That is where the thievery is in our midst. Wall Street. They won't do shit about it. They're not going to say anything about it. This motherfucker is all about it. It's Wall Street. They won't do shit about it. They're not going to do nothing about it. It's Wall Street. This motherfucker. This son of a bitch. He knows what's up. It's Wall Street. It's a miss if they don't get to the piss of Wall Street. Because they, they, they just shower us and they urinate us with all the fucking bullshit that they do over there. They ain't doing shit. It's, uh, none of it's legit. If it don't start over there with that shit, Wall Street, fuck Fox News.